What's up guys, this is Chris here, and today we're gonna be doing a full review on a gun that's pretty interesting. We're gonna be talking about one of my favorite shotguns, the Charles Daly Kiapa Triple Threat. Now, if you're unfamiliar with the Triple Threat, welcome to the rest of the world. It's actually a triple barrel shotgun, as you can see there. Now, not only is that very steampunk cool, very 90s awesome, but it actually provides some real world uses, believe it or not. Uh, there's actually a lot of these different models, but these are pretty hard to come by. So Charles Daily makes, I think, a 28 inch and a couple other barrel lengths, but the majority of them are an 18 inch. I've seen the 12 gauge and I've seen the 20 gauge. This is actually a 20 gauge because I found this in a store in Missouri. It actually picked it up because I'd never seen one before and it was a pretty good price. That being said, again, you won't find these in most gun stores, but you can find them a couple places if you look hard enough. But I think the most popular version is the 18 inch and it does make some sense as far as self-defense goes. First thing, a breech action shotgun, like a double barrel or a single barrel, or even a triple barrel in this case, is gonna be a little bit shorter overall length than something that is a semi-auto or a pump because it doesn't need that full chamber to operate. So you're gonna get a little bit shorter overall platform and I think this is only about 36 inches long, so it makes it very easy to operate in uh, close quarters. The 20, uh, the 20 gauge model here, which is still more than enough power to take care of any self-defense situation, actually only weighs about seven pounds as well, so it's very lightweight, so even the smaller statured people can operate it. Uh, my wife actually did the majority of shooting for this review because I did want to specify that. A lot of people ask me about 20 gauge for self-defense and will it work for your son, your daughter, your wife? If they're well trained, they absolutely will work. By the time I was about 12 years old, I was already shooting 12 gauge and before that I had shot some 20 and my go-to shotgun for uh, deer hunting from 12 until about 15 was a single barreled H&R 20 gauge. So very similar to this, except for this, I have three more rounds. Now, why is the triple barrel cool? Well, first off, we only have one trigger. So it's technically kind of like a three round semi-auto that you have to load each individual barrel. And that's very nice. So you're gonna get three shots right in a row without having to worry about what trigger you're pulling, without having to worry about external hammers or anything like that. So in a self-defense situation, you can point, bang, 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 and you're good to go. Three shots of 20 gauge buckshot will pretty much take care of anything you need. And the reload is pretty close behind. It actually has a shell ejector as well, so if you pop it open fast enough, they will shoot out, which is very cool, and that increases the loading process. If I was using this for self-defense, I would recommend having shells on the gun. However, this is more of a novelty item for me. Now, if you look at the back there, we do have the safety. We do have an enlarged latch here to open the breech, which makes it very easy to do. We also have uh, a uh, split in the stock there, so you can take that off and you can run that uh, just with a pistol grip if you really want to. And we do have an 18.5 inch barrel with a fiber optic sight on it. Now, the one downside to this shotgun that I do see is there's no real way to mount a light on this bad boy. Uh, however, you could use the old school duct tape it to it if you really want to. As far as one of the pros of this versus a semi-auto or a pump is as far as legality goes. If you live in one of those states like maybe California or New York or Illinois where you can't get a semi-automatic shotgun or a pump shotgun, something like that for whatever reason, this is actually still completely legal and it gives you three rounds of a very potent round that you can fire relatively quickly. So it could be a the best situation for you in your area uh, that you may not even be aware of. I'm not saying it is, but it could be. And uh, is this m better than a semi-auto? Is it better than a pump? I would say no. However, uh, it's still better than a double barrel or a single barrel, and that's kind of nice. Now overall, the wood and the quality craftsmanship is pretty good. We have a walnut stock with a walnut uh, fore end there, and the checkering and everything looks like it's done really well, although mine's a little beat up because we did actually review this, we didn't just do a commercial. I think we have a couple hundred rounds through this now, uh, and we've had maybe six or seven people shoot this, and nobody had a bad time. Now, one of the things I will knock it on a little bit, as you can see here, there are a little bit of machining marks and just a little bit of fuckery right here, but other than that, the aesthetics are very, very nice. We do have sling mounts here and here if you want to mount your uh, sling and you want to go bird hunting with it or something because they do have 28 inch models of this. And then we do have a pretty comfortable butt pad on the end. Not a limb saver, but it certainly ain't bad. Now as far as the reliability of the triple barrel, that's another category where this thing really shines because there's not much to go wrong. We shot a couple hundred rounds for this of varying ammunition all the way from low brass to high brass to buckshot and we have absolutely no problems whatsoever and that's due to the simplicity of the design. You simply put the rounds in the gun, close the gun up, 
and take the safety off and pull the trigger and the gun goes off every single time. Now another benefit of the uh, single, double, triple barrel design is they actually do make inserts for this as well that you can put in there and you can shoot nine millimeter, 22 or whatever you want, which is a cool feature of a breech action shotgun. I mean, I'm pretty sure you can use it with a triple barrel. I know you can do it with double and single barrels, which is very nice. Now as far as accuracy and speed goes, obviously you're gonna be lacking a little speed all after three rounds, but those three rounds come out really quickly as you can see in the footage. So you could take care of three targets relatively fast if you needed to, which is pretty nice considering a home invasion scenario or something like that. Uh, so speed is good and accuracy is pretty good, although I would consider slug accuracy to not be so good on this. That's gonna be a downside of this. So if you want a double barrel or a triple barrel for hunting and you're gonna put slugs in it or you're gonna shoot uh, any sort of rifled slugs through this, you're probably gonna experience some deviation between the sight, which is on the center barrel, and the two barrels on the bottom. So keep that in mind. That's something I've seen with double barrels over the course of my life, that not bo both barrels are not zeroed to the sight, so you're gonna have to pattern your gun when you get it. Now, overall, I think because of the shortness, I think because of the weight, and I think because of the, the legality factor, it would be a pretty good home defense shotgun. It's legal, and it actually looks pretty intimidating as well, uh, aiming it down the barrel. If you saw this going into somebody's house, you'd probably get the fuck out of there and decide a toaster is better served somewhere else. As far as usefulness in like a combat situation, I would argue probably not, because three rounds is not very many, and the reloading process is gonna be relatively slow. But overall, for most cases, especially like ranch use and home defense use, I would consider this more than capable. So not only is it novelty, not only does it have a lot of cool factor to it, but it's pretty useful as well. So I would give the Charles Daly Triple Threat a big win. That being said, there's one big downside. It's 2,000 bucks on average. Now I got mine for cheaper than that, but it's hard to find them, and because of that, the prices do get high. And if you're interested in paying $2,000 for a triple barrel shotgun, this is a really good way to go. That being said, I feel like there's probably not many of those people out there <laughs> that are as dumb as me, but it's a cool gun. I love it. I'm going to continue to love it. And I really realized how much I loved it last year when we ended up purging a few guns uh, to buy a few more, and I just couldn't sell this thing. For whatever reason, I, it's went through three or four purges, and it's almost been on the chopping block. But so far, it's still here. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Please help out your local homeless shelters and remember to recycle. I'll check you later.